Hi, this is Arindam from the Informatica MDM support team and today I'm going to discuss about how to enable JBoss security in MDM. So basically the agenda is to demonstrate uh, how to enable the EJB JBoss security uh, in MDM. So the reason why we need uh, EJB security is basically to make uh, the MDM EJB secured so that unauthorized, unauthorized access uh, to data and other resources within the MDM hub can be prevented. So some of the basic steps uh, that we need to uh, do to enable EJB security are the following. So uh, the first thing we should ensure that the user passwords uh, in MDM hub are JBoss confirmant, especially for the admin user. The second step would be to add the following attribute in the standalone full.xml uh, which is the security realm equal to application realm attribute. Uh, then we will add uh, all the MDM hub console users to the JBoss uh, using the JBoss add user script. So uh, we can either add just the admin user or uh, if you want to secure all the other users we can add them as well. So one thing we should note that uh, the password must match uh, the JBoss uh, and the MDM password of the users must match and we should be selecting uh, the hub console role while running the add user script. The next step would be to uncomment the JBoss uh, security enabled flag to true uh, in, in the CMX server properties and then we will repackage the SIP, uh, MDM ER using SIPAN.bat followed by deploying the ER in the standalone deployments directory and restarting the JBoss. So I'll just give you a short demo uh, to how to achieve this in uh, the JBoss. So as I discussed, uh, the first step uh, would be to go to the standalone full XML and uh, uh, let me just go to the configuration, uh, the standalone full.xml. Okay, so I'll search uh, for this uh, remoting uh, tag. Okay, so here is my remoting tag and I will add this security realm equal to application realm here. Okay, this is done. So the next step would be to add uh, some uh, JBoss users, application users using the add user dot uh, bat script. So uh, let me just, I need to go to the bin folder. JBoss EAP, this is my bin folder which has this add user.bat script. So I'll just go to command prompt. Okay, let me run the script. So it asks for what type of user you want to add and you try to select uh, application user. Then enter the details of the new user to add. Uh, this should be application realm. The username would be say I want to make admin user. I, I will just give the admin username. Yes. The password should be JBoss confirmant. Let me give a JBoss confirmant password here. Re enter the password. So the roles that I need to assign is I need to assign the hub console roles. So all these users should have this hub console role assigned to it. It's asking if you want to add. So the last step would be no. So this is how the uh, my user has been uh, uh, created. So uh, if I let's go to my standalone configuration. Uh, and I open this file right application users file you will see that a new admin user has been created so, so the next uh, step uh, would be to go to this uh, to the MDM folder in order to activate the JBoss security we need to uh, go to the CMX server properties
so you can see that uh, to go to this uh, same server properties here uh, let me search for that security so this is my jbos security tag so uh, i need to uncomment this so my cmx server properties file is ready so uh, now what i need to do is uh, i basically need to uh, run the cpant to repackage uh, the er so that uh, the cmx server properties goes into the er Let me go back to command prompt. We we'll just run cpant dot repackage. Okay, I'm sorry. I just need to cpant dot bat. So it's repackaging and rebuilding the ER with the new CMX server dot properties. Uh, just give it a image or two. is updating the zip file now as you can see so you can see that here it's mentioned that the value of uh, the jboss security enabled flag has been set to true uh, inside that er it's now updating the cyber mrm er So uh, once the repackage is uh, complete, the the final uh, step uh, would be just to copy or just deploy the new ER in the standalone uh, deployment directory, and then we just need to restart the server. So you can see that the build is successful. So my ER is now uh, JBoss CJB security compliant. So I'll take the ER from here. I can uh, I'll just go. I can just uh, either I can run the post or setup or I can directly copy this into the JBoss standalone directory. So I can just uh, copy it directly over here. And w once that is done, uh, I just need to restart. Uh, I'll just copy it. And uh, once that is done, I just need to restart the JBoss. So I'm not uh, showing you how to uh, like restart a JBoss because it takes some time. So uh, basically, these are the steps uh, uh, that we need to do uh, to enable uh, uh, EJB security uh, in, in, in the JBoss environment. So, uh, so if you want to know more about how to uh, enable JBoss security, you can uh, refer to the installation guide for uh, JBoss for the specific uh, MDM version. So that is from my side, uh, so I would love to hear from you on this particular uh, uh, video. So if you have any feedback, you can uh, write us at in support videos at informatica.com or tweet us at uh, twitter.com slash infosupport. Thanks a lot.